In this study, I will summarize the recent paper, Multibank Acquisition of Full Dimensional Phase Contrast MLI to Improve Precision of Velocity Measurement. PCMLI Phase Contrast MLI measures the flow by estimating the phase difference between the reference image without bipolar gradient and the flow sensitive images with bipolar gradient. While the reference image has no phase shift by the flow, the flow sensitive images have velocity dependent phase shifts. So, by calculating net phase shift, we can measure the temporal variation of three directional flow fields. This 4D PCMLI has been important because this 4D flow information obtained from 4D PCMLI can be used as a future diagnosis in medicine. When we measure 4D PCMLI, we sometimes suffer from high noise in magnitude and phase data. This phase image shows the flow through the stenosis channel. At this reason, the flow is suspected to have recirculation flow with negative velocity flow. However, it is hard to distinguish the recirculation flow reason because the velocity to noise ratio is too low. Velocity noise in PCMLI is proportional to the phase noise level and VANC parameter. This VANC is a parameter that determines the upper limit velocity encoding. While the lower VANC can decrease the velocity noise level, the lower VANC can induce phase aliasing at the high velocity reason. To resolve this problem, previous studies suggested the phase wrapping method for increasing VNR. By recovering all wrapped phase data, VNR can be increased. However, this phase wrapping technique requires excessive time to perform the iterative calculations, and sometimes it fails to find out the exact solutions. And it is almost impossible to recover the original velocity data if the phase wrapping is too severe. Therefore, in the present study, we aim to develop an easy and robust method for increasing VNR of 4D PCMLI. Our method is called multi-bank overlapping. It is very simple. We measure the flow field with multiple bank parameters. Then high bank measurement provides good signal at the high velocity field, but it provides low VNR at the low velocity field. While the low bank measurement has phase aliasing at the high velocity field, it provides higher VNR at the low velocity reason. So by combining all the good points from the multiple bank measurement, we can reconstruct our new velocity field data with higher precision. This figure shows the schematic diagram of the present technique. We start from the velocity field data from the highest bank and compare it with the lower bank data. If some parts from the lower bank data are found to be valid, we take lower bank data. If not, we take high bank data. To validate the performance of the present method, we carried out in vitro study. We fabricated stenosis phantom using 3D printer and measured the flow within the model. Here we measure the flow field with five different bank parameters from 5 to 300 cm per second. Figure A and B indicate the axial velocity and radial velocity. As you can see, at high bank parameter measurement, high velocity reason is clear, but it has high random noise at the axial and radial velocity fields. At the lower bank measurement, velocity noise is reduced, but it produces phase wrapping at the high velocity reason. And phase dispersion at the post stenosis reason due to the turbulence. To remove the phase dispersion reason during the multi bank overlapping, we made a mask image from the magnitude image and filtered out the erroneous velocity due to the phase dispersion. This figure shows the result of the multi bank overlapping A, the axial velocity field, B, radial velocity field, and N is the number of overlapping we used. As we overlap lower bank data to the high bank data, we could reduce the velocity noise at the low velocity reason. We quantitatively analyzed the sectional velocity noise level. It clearly shows the velocity noise level is significantly reduced by multi-bank overlapping. 
Therefore, we could re-increase the VNR by 2 to 6 times. The increase of VNR was dependent on flow reason because the different dynamic range of the flow at its reasons and the effect of possible phase dispersion. Due to the increase of VNR, we could resolve the recirculation flow at the post stenosis region more clearly. It also improves the flow visualization near wall and post stenosis region. Due to Finally, to demonstrate the present technique for the in vivo study, we measured the blood flow at the standing aorta. We overlapped the velocity fields with three different FANC parameters. As you can see from the phase images and streamline visualization, the velocity noise in the phase image was reduced. Therefore, we could identify the recirculation vortex flow at the ascending aorta more clearly. In the present study, an easy and robust method for increasing VNR of 40 PCMLI has been developed. It was found to increase VNR without phase unwrapping. In vitro, in vivo results showed the significant increase of VNR. One limitation of the present study is that it increases scanning time because it requires multiple measurements. I guess this problem would be trivial as the MLI acceleration technique develops. Thank you.